Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today, you've guessed it, we're in downtown Cato Paphos and we're gonna take you on a little wander through the Cato Paphos Harbour. But before we do, I'm gonna introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the entire world. And her name is Ochin Gracilia Lobo. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again, so stick with us. Here we go into the Cato Papos Harbour and we're going to storm it the right way and we're going to start off by meeting two superstars from the Paphos Sea Cruises. The smiles are here, he's got the greatest eyelashes and the greatest eyes in the whole of downtown Cato Paphos. Hold on, they've just left and they're back. Mr Trent and the sexiest lady in the whole of the harbour, sweet, sweet Roxanne. How are you doing? You all right? Good? Good, I'm good. Excellent. How are you, man? Not too bad at all. We're going to do a little promo on you. There we are. Paphos Sea Cruises, they're the ones that own the majority of the boats in the harbour area. That one there is telling you all about the Blue Lagoon Cruises, and that is called the Ocean Blue Liner. And down the bottom there, that's the rear end of their big boy, the Ocean Vision. And that's that one over there. The biggest boat on the block. It's an all-inclusive luxury five-star cruise. You pay 75 euros a pop or 39 euros a pop for the littlies. You get to eat, you get to drink, and you get to party the night away. And on a Friday and a Saturday night, the crescendo is the fireworks display, which is, wow, the greatest thing to witness in the world. They've got all sorts of other boats. We just met a nice lady named Gail, and they have chartered a boat for their daughter's wedding on Wednesday and she's invited us to come down on Wednesday at about four o'clock and to well scare the life out of her daughter and her new husband and we will that's for sure we will we look forward to you welcome you on board yes. do you can we go on for free you are welcome doesn't sound too bad does it <laughs> thank you very much thanks very much so get yourself down to get a papa's harbour and you're going to have thanks Roxanne thanks for strength we're going to have a good day and they are too they're going to get busier and busier because now is the busiest time of the season to go on the boats because it's just that perfect temperature now one of our favorite people in the harbour there she is and she's got a very very big shell for me that's a big shell that is a very big shell indeed and that's going to go on top there where they've been cleaning down we're outside the king's restaurant if that's where you wonder where we are this is the first restaurant on the block and there is a fridge with the display of some of their fish. I say it's one of the greatest restaurants, open from early in the morning until late at night. Receiving? I think this all fishes are so fresh. Hello. Hi. Good morning. And uh, I believe that they are so, so tasty as well. Fresh and tasty. For some reason, Grisilla Boost turned the volume down on her voice again. I keep telling her to crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Now. We are walking through the Ketapathos Harbour area. Like I say, first restaurant on the block is the King's Restaurant. The next restaurant on the block is Theo's Restaurant, one of the greatest restaurants in downtown Ketapathos Harbour area. And then at the edge of that restaurant, you get to turn down that little alleyway, and that's where you go and book all of the boat trips, and that's where you get onto the boats, if you understand me. So whether you're going on a small boat or a big boat, this is the area that you'll come to. Hand them your ticket and off you will sail and you're going to have a great, great time indeed. Next restaurant on the block, well, it's that one there and it's called the Pelican. Why is it called the Pelican? Simply because it's owned by a Pelican. Let's see if she's in the house today. There she is. Let's go and have a look. So the Pelican is known as Miss Coco and there she is. She's pruning herself as usual. And she's getting ready to go on stage in a little bit. Normally she will patrol the harbour area between 10 and around about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And you're welcome to have a little chat with her. She's very, very friendly indeed. And she'll pose for pictures. And she doesn't charge a single penny. And she is an absolute superstar amongst superstars. Miss Crocker! Nope, she's too busy. That's for sure. Receiving? Those, by the way. These, yeah, this lampshade work of art. This Grisivi Le Bouffe fancies this lampshade, so perhaps wow. we will come back a little bit later. Wow. And there's Miss Coco again. So stick with us, we're going to take you down the rest of the Cato Papos Harbour and introduce you to some of our friends along the way. 
The next little restaurant in the harbour area is our favourite because it suits us. It's got this quiet vibe and it's managed by the greatest manager in the whole of the harbour area. And his name is? Mr Ryan. There he is. How are you? Right, you right? Good. Yeah, good. As you can see, they're pretty busy today. That's their front of house, as we call it. And that's their rear of house. And there it is. There's the branding. There's the logo. The Gilalamo Ice Cream Parlour. Greatest place in the whole of downtown Kedapapos. We'll be back in a bit, Mr Ryan. Over here we've got Sail at the Castle, that's the sports bar area, and then just over there you've got the restaurant dining area. Very, very busy place indeed. And there is the man himself, the six pack. How are you doing? You right? Good? No, no. Mr. Papasa. I'm not changing my habits. That's why I'm We're a family channel. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thanks, Mr. Turner. I'll see you later on. You have a good day. He's a star among stars, that's for sure. And then the last one on the block is Stevie's, that's their sports bar area. That's the Kumbaru number one. He's guiding him in. That's it. Ooh, la 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 la. Good morning, la, 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 la. Good morning everybody. Good morning, everybody. Hats on today. Sunday. We yeah, know it's you. Now we I'm know it's you. On fire today. <laughs> on fire. I think you've had a new menu. Have you had a new menu? New Look at that. This is the brand new menu. We haven't got lobster before now. We've got lobsters. Lobster's gone. Ah, lobsters now come on. So they've got a lobster tagatelli. Have a look at that. 39 euros. Very, very reasonable price indeed. Or maybe it's not. It's expensive, by the way. It's very well, good price. For the area and the situation yeah, that yeah. we're in, it's reasonably priced. You're never going to buy the cheapest food in any harbour anywhere in the world. You're going to pay a premium because of the ambiance and the surroundings. And of course, we understand the rents that they have to pay. And obviously, someone has to be passed that on to, and that person is you and me. Now, into the Cape of Harbour, here we are, the beautiful Labouf Harbour. And this is one of the new attractions in the harbour. It's called the Zorki. It's the underwater experience. It's a semi-submarine, semi-submersible yellow submarine. And there is a song about that written by the Beatles. Well, it was done by the Beatles, but I think it was written by Ringo Starr, the great drummer himself. Anyway, receiving? Lost for words. No. No. I'm just thinking, what if I don't speak? How would it be looking like? Well, a little bit strange. But on the theme of yellow, well, guess what? She's in a little bit of yellow today. Can we see the rear end, Grisivi Labouf? Yes, that's that rear end. All is missing is you. All that's missing is you. So Whether stick with it's us. yellow or blue, all that's missing, all that's missing is, you. is you. So stick with us as we make our way to the sunset viewing point. It allows you to stand there and watch the sunset, or the sunrise, if you're up very, very early, obviously. But it also allows you to look out across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Because as we understand from this channel, the sea is blue, the sky is blue, I'm dressed head to toe in blue. All that's actually missing is you. So get yourself on a big bird or a canoe, a canoe and... And stop paddling like crazy. Because Paphos is quite simply waiting you. Now, back into the Cato Paphos Harbour, one of the most beautiful harbours in the world. It's a proper working but very, very quaint little harbour. You've got some small boats, you've got some fishing boats, you've got some bigger boats and some lesser boats. And over yonder, you've got some grey boats. That's operated by the Goombaras in blue. And if you're a very, very naughty person, well, they're going to catch you, they're going to beat you, and they may even shoot you. Now, into the castle or fort area confusion some call it a fort some call it a castle we understand technically that it is a fort because the great man ian himself did go and check it out or was it bry who knows we could be having one of those nonsensical days again stick with us we're going to make our way to the rear of the castle or the fort whichever you choose to call it and we're going to show you a great view across the blue 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 mediterranean sea and it's quite simply going to take your breath away and you never know, watching Grisivia Labouf might decide to wiggle her rear end on the Chachotchka rock. What do you think? No, it's actually the uh, Mr. and Mr. Payne's rock. Well, I'm sure Jeremy and Simon will loan us their rock one more time if you're prepared to wiggle that rear end one more time. When they come, we have to dance all three. You're obviously going to That's going to be very difficult on that rock. Well, that's quite a small rock, but... I suppose it will be fun and games. Right, let's get to the rock and we're going to follow the rear end of Hotchin. Grazie, via, la bouffe. Look 
Just over yonder is a rather nice little boat that you can private charter. I believe that that is the Ocean Sea Waves, and that's one of the ones you can charter for, well, whatever you want. A little wedding function, a little birthday function, or just a little day function. So you pop along to Paphos Sea Cruises, have a chat with them, do a little bit of negotiation, and you get to go on that little yacht for four to five hours and have a great, great time indeed. There's no better way to explore the coastline of Paphos than on a nice boat or a canoe, whichever you choose. Pacific. And I, th I think I'm sweating like a little pig. <laughs> it is getting quite Even hot. Even if yes. I'm not. It is. Very hot. Yes. You just, you're just melting, melting. But remember, a lot of people are paying a lot of good money and traveling a long, long way to get it. So if you want good weather, this could be the perfect place for you now, if you like what you see, please hit the like, click subscribe and come back for a little bit more of our madness. And if you really, really like what you see or you feel you want to help the channel grow that little bit more, click through to our about page and you'll find a little icon where you can choose to buy us a coffee or two. And you can also scroll along the little icons which you've got share, download, make a clip. And you'll also find a little button that says thanks can hit that button and make a very very small contribution to the channel which will allow us to grow the channel and allow us to do more things that you want us to do. Chrisili? And I would like to tell you many many thanks for watching, for a time, for support, for all all you do for us and I would like to tell you again and again come and see another of our madnesses and you will never regret that one day you met us. Many kisses and many thanks.